Hi, this is Dr. Sue, and I'm here at the South Street Seaport in New York City, and I'm interviewing a captain, Captain Nick Rogers. He's the captain of the Clearwater, and he's going to tell you something about the Clearwater, what they're doing, where they've been, and how they got here to the South Street Seaport. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is uh, Nicholas Rogers. I'm one of the captains that works here on the on the sloop uh, behind us. We're we're in kind of like a full social media tour of the Hudson Valley. So we're kind of, we started up in Albany. Um, uh, boy, it's been a while now. And, uh, and we're slowly making our way south and we'll, we'll make it out to the Verrazano tomorrow. Um, and we're kind of just like, the project we're doing is called Our River Connects Us. And we're just trying to bring, um, you know, we average about 10,000 students that come a year sailing with us. And now during the times we can't do that. So we're finding any other way to get people down on the river. And one of the ways is through social media and through virtual uh, sailing tours. Thanks very much. And what do you hope people will get out of either the direct experience on the Clearwater or this virtual experience? Ooh, that's a really good question. Um, basically, just like uh, anything, anything at all, anything that keeps us going, anything that keeps hope alive, anything that keeps us excited about uh, either what we're doing or what you're doing. So, um, you know, we're we're doing our thing and. We're trying to connect, we, you know, we're interviewing people up and down uh, the valley and figuring out the ways that the water is important to them and the way that the water connects us. And, you know, what we're finding out is through this, uh, all this work on the water and this work through climate justice is very inter interconnected with the current uh, things that are going on through racial justice and how connected those two things are. So, Oh, that's interesting. So you have a special a contemporary slant. And, and Pete Seeger started this project. So... Tell me something about that. How is it that a folk singer wound up starting a project with a ship that sails down the Hudson River? Sure, absolutely. So uh, in, in the mid 60s, um, you know, that the river was a cesspool and the story used to be that Pete and his family, if they wanted to go swimming in the river, they would take a rock down to the river, throw it into the water and then all the pollutants would disperse. Pete would jump in into the clean water and before the pollutants came back in on him, he would get back out of the water and get another rock to swim again. So. In an effort to clean the the, the river, what Pete and, and a, a group of friends decided was let's get people on the river, show them how beautiful it is, and then the river's beauty itself will encourage people to take care of it. So that's what the vessel's been doing now for 51 years, is taking people out on the river and letting the river convince them uh, that it's beautiful enough to take care of. Well, thank you. That's a wonderful explanation. And this is coming toward the end of the tour in uh, 2020. What does the future hold? Well, that's a good question for all of us. You know, I think we all have to ask ourselves stuff. So we are moving into, you know, like I said, we, were, we take about 10,000 students sailing normally a year. Um, and we're trying to still keep that education and keep the, the mission alive. So we do we a bunch of virtual sailing tour. We literally had a, a Zoom call. Uh, it was about a month ago now with students from all over the world on the same call that were coming sailing with us. And we were running our same similar program about teaching uh, about the water and about the Hudson Valley. Um, through this call so you know more stuff like that and then um hopefully we'll keep uh, working on the vessel in the winter and maybe we'll extend our winter this year just to get a lot more work done when we can't take people sailing as much as we can so well thank you very much that was beautifully put and i'm so glad you could join us virtually on the clear water and i'm dr sue